Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we take a look at the newest animated feature from Leica, the stop motion studio behind movies like The Box Trolls and Coraline. Did the Japanese inspire Cubo and the Two Strings deliver a non-stop stop motion adventure? Let's take a look. After years of growing up and hiding, a young boy named Kubo must go on a quest to retrieve a magical suit of armor to protect him from the evil Moon King. After seeing the first trailer for this movie, I was really looking forward to it, and when I had a chance to see it early, I had to jump on it. I'm happy to say that Kubo and the Two Strings did not disappoint. From the start of the film, I was hooked on the story, animation, and characters. Being Leica, you knew the animation would be top notch and they did not fail to deliver the goods. From the action to the look, their signature style is still incredible. Just wait until you see the sword skeleton and stay during the credits to see how they animated it. I love the story because of its simplicity. There is a twist here and there, but for the most part it is a straight up samurai adventure. It's full of magic, monsters and music, warriors and witches, legends and lessons. This is what I wanted the movie 47 Ronin to be like. Though the movie is pretty serious, there is a lot of humor as well. One of my minor complaints is that there may have been a bit too much humor, but it worked. Charlie Theron and Matthew McConaughey both get to show their serious and silly sides as Monkey and Beetle respectively. Another minor complaint would be that the villain, the Moon King, could have used some more screen time to establish his character and the threat that he posed. I also would have liked Rooney Mara's characters of the twins to be a bit more scary, but I understand that this is supposed to be a kid's movie, so they couldn't go too far. That being said, the twins and some of the movie might be scary or hard for kids to watch. The subject matter does get a little dark. As an adult viewer, someday I would like to see Leica tackle a straight up adult or horror film in their amazing style. Finally, some may not like the ending, but I felt that it was a perfect way to end a tale like this. Keep in mind when you are watching this that it is a story. For me, this was a fun adventure film that can be enjoyed by both kids and adults. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. Next time on The Real Opinion, we'll find out if Miles Teller and Jonah Hill have what it takes to be gun runners and war dogs. Until next time, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion.